Il Smashville than in Vegas, baby, Vegas. It's a lot of people. History was made, quizstery was made, but of course, there's more HQ to be played today on this Monday show. This is HQ, the trivia game show on your phone, where you answer questions to win catch, and I am your host, without the Holy Ghost, the Quiz Daddy, the Quizard of Oz, Quiz Scott Rogowski, coming to you live and in color. Including Jeep Thang, D Doc, Cassie Young, Stephanie Fetters, Chrissy Costanza, and a happy 21st birthday to Daniel Haddad. Is this your maiden voyage on the SSHQ? Let's go over the ground rules. I'm gonna ask 12 questions ranging from easy to hard. You're gonna have 10 seconds before I start reading the question to tap your answer. If you get it right, you move on to the next round. If you answer all 12 questions, you win or split the cash. And today's prize, get this, is 1,500 Dibbucks, 1,500 duck pins, 1,500 dollares. You can buy 1,180 Bosque pairs pounds of Bosque pears for that, or 1,020 pounds of Bartlett pears for that kind of money. Yeah, Bartlett pears, a little more expensive than the Bosque. All right, have you swiped away the chat? Are you on airplane mode if you're using Wi-Fi? We are one week away from Christmas Day, and you are 12 questions away from winning $1,500 potentially. Christmas could be coming early for a few of you. Roll up! Roll up to the quiz to retour. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get this show on the road. May the best brain win. Q1 for the 415,000 of you in the game now. If you don't want to slip on the ice, what should you put on your feet? Slippers, ice grips, or tennis shoes? You don't want to slip on that ice. It's ice! Cleats are to grass. Ice grips are to ice. Spiky little bottoms that dig in and help keep you upright. 358,964 are staying upright after that one. The rest of you have fallen on the ice. It cracks. I might plunge in and join you there. 358,000 plus are skating on to Q2. In which of these sports do players not have to wear a helmet? Soccer, American football, or lacrosse? You do not wear a helmet. That means two of them you do, and one you don't. Which one is it? Well, this sport is primarily played with your feet, but it's not American football, although with the headers in this sport, it might help to have a helmet on. It's soccer. Soccer, who's kicking and screaming on to Q3? 348,678 of you are bending it like Beckham, the rest of you. Get the red card. Q3, coming at you. If Sam, Coach, or Woody served you a drink, which TV show bar would you be in? Patty's Pub, Cheers, or Moe's Tavern? Sam, Coach, or Woody? What would it be with Woody? Well, the real bar that this TV show is based on can be found in Beacon Hill, Boston, the Bull and Finch Pub, as it was known. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. It's Cheers, baby! Three cheers for Cheers, and 258,754 are moving through the door. You're making your way through the world today. On to Q4. A species of which of these animals can be found with three toes on each foot? Sloth, zebra, or bear? So one of these animals has a subspecies that is found with three toes on each foot. Three toes, sometimes two toes. There are also two toe varieties. They call me the sloth. Sloth is your answer. There are two toed sloths, three toed sloths, 229,241 are gonna be slowly moving on to Q5. By the way, three toed sloths, unrelated to three finger brown. Q5, which of these is not a shade of blue? Coquelicot, Zaffir, or Glaucus? Coquelicot, Zaffir, or Glaucus? Fun words to say on this Monday afternoon. Always like testing my linguistic abilities here. Zaffir is the color of cobalt oxide, that deep, deep blue, so that is a shade of blue. Glaucus is that bluish, purplish, 
color do you see on grape sometimes? That kind of dusty blue, that also is a blue, but Coquelico is a shade of red. Like those poppy flowers. Poppy red is Coquelico, and ooh, boy, Oberto, savagery right here at Q5. Savage question, savage AF. We just lost 178, almost 180,000. 41,955, got it right. The rest of you are seeing red. Ouchie, wowie, 41,955. Moving on to Q6, the halfway point. Which was the first Angry Birds game to have a boss fight level? Angry Birds Rio, Angry Birds 2, or Angry Birds Epic? Man, we lost a lot of you there. So sorry, so, so sorry. Q6 for the 41,955 left. Always innovating and always looking for monetization. Angry Birds lets you fight Nigel from the Rio film and his marmosets in Angry Birds Rio de Janeiro, 14,735. Got it right. The rest of you literally can't even with that question right there. 14,735 are flying on to Q7. According to the radio DJs in Groundhog Day, the local weather was not like which city? Malibu Beach, Miami Beach, or Daytona Beach? If you play HQ every day, it might feel like Groundhog Day, right? You get to Q6, Q7, and you're out. And it repeats itself every day. No, one of these days you'll break the curse, you'll get there. Now these words become quite familiar by the midway point of this film because it also repeats itself. It's cold out there every day. What is this, Miami Beach? Miami Beach, baby! And life is a beach for the 5,099er who got it right. We did lose about 8,700 of you there. Again, a moment of silence for the 8,700 we lost. But 599, 5099, moving on to question eight. The president of the company that invented Flickr has more recently founded which app? Airbnb, Lyft, or Slack? Which app was founded by the guy who co-founded Flickr? The photo sharing app, that was Flickr. And after he founded that, He's like, no, nah, I'm not done yet. I want to make some more money. So Dharma, a.k.a. Jeremy, a.k.a. Stuart Butterfield, made his second big wave when he founded the collaboration tool Slack. Slack it to me, Jack. 2149. Got it right. They're picking up the Slack on this Monday. 2149 of you are... Yeah, you're moving on to Q9. You're... Shucking and jiving is what I wanted to say. Q9, with whom does Eminem square off in an offstage rap battle in the movie Eight Mile? Strike, Exhibit, or DJ Head? Eight Mile. Who's got mom's spaghetti on their sweater already? Maybe if you're getting nervous here on Q9. I'm paraphrasing from the movie, but I think the battle was over how many woofers were enough to pimp B-Rabbit's ride. It was Exhibit, X gonna give it to you, uh. Well, that's a DMX song, but Exhibit is your answer, 1206. The rest of you, be humble, sit down. But for the 1206, and here's a fun fact for all of you out there watching, playing at home, Exhibit is credited in the movie as male lunch rapper. Male lunch rapper is his actual credit in the movie. Q10, which Instagram filter is named after a photographer? Juno, Rise, or Ludwig? Who's gonna pimp this quiz today? Pimp this quiz with Exhibit X. This Instagram filter named after a photographer. Juno, Rise, or Ludwig? Now, of all those names, which one sounds like a person? The one you'd least expect. Cole Rise is the photographer we're looking at. He was one of the first 100 users on Instagram. And Savagery again right here on Q10. 165, got it right. World star, world star here on Q10. Rise, you're rising up. Yeah, he was one of the first 100 users. He collaborated on the app's logo. He created many filters for Instagram, including this one, which they named after him. There are just 165 players left after starting with over 400,000 here this afternoon. They're moving on, rising to Q11. What leader at Netscape and Mozilla was one of the first women inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame? Mitchell Baker, Karen Banks, or Tracy LaQuay Parker? Baker, Banks, or Parker? 
Now this woman, it's a pretty big deal. Pretty, pretty, pretty big deal. She's the executive chairwoman at Mozilla and has been a leader there since its inception, was inducted as part of the inaugural class of the Internet Hall of Fame in 2012. Her first name is Winifred, but she goes by her middle name, which is Mitchell. Mitchell and Ness, Mitchell, Baker, yes, 50 players got it right. And about an even split there. We lost 104, but 50 are moving on. 5-0, look who's 50. We got 50 of you heading into the final round here in HQ on this Monday, December 18th. 50 players, $1,500 on the line. It all boils down to this final round. Fight! Q12, fatality. Starting with $1 and doubling it daily. How long would it take to equal the world's money value? 120 days, 48 days, or 422 days? How many days? Oh, doctor. It was a long, hard-fought game today, folks. And no one will be impressed with you if you start with $1 and double it the next day, or that first week even. That's not a lot of money. It's probably not even as much as you might win today. But after that first week, you'll have 64 bucks. That money starts really adding up fast. You'll find that it doesn't even take a year. No, no, you'll find it doesn't even take two months because you'll have $140 trillion plus 737 billion plus 433 million, 355,328 dollars within 48 days. And we got 18 winners, baby! Hi! <laughs> with an attitude, 18 winners here on HQ. BM Chills, Sam1092, Hockby3404, Jules Rules13, Andre3797, Lauren J123, Sam Schooler, M Scheiber, NSP5074, Doe Stalled, you're all taking home $83.33. Some of you get an extra penny 